Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be explaining how you set up the automated SR lines, the latest update that's come to Stonksy. So without further ado, let's get into it. So firstly, I'll cover how you update the script if you're already a Stonksy user. Um, so if you've already got Stonksy loaded into TradingView, and then afterwards I'll cover if you're a new user, how you set it up from scratch, and then get it looking like this if this is how you would like it to look. So first off, if you're already a Stonksy user, what you do is you hover over the um, Stonksy option on obviously where the indicator is. You select the three dots, which is more, and then you'll have a little button here. Uh, it's not there at the moment for me because my script is up to date. However, you will have um, an option that says update script, which will then obviously update it to the latest version that we've published, which includes the SR lines. So that's obviously if you've already got Stonksy, that's how you can update the script to, to incorporate the SR lines. Now the next one I'll cover is if you don't have Stonksy. So obviously if you don't have Stonksy and you've just been given access to it, you'll get access to it in the indicators tab under the invite only. Then when you select it, it will come up on your trading view like this. So then all you do for this is you will hover over it, you'll click to the three dots again, and then you will go move to existing pane above, which will move the whole indicator to the top onto the chart like you see on the live streams and um, other videos, etc. So then what you'll do is you'll hover over, uh, go to the settings, and then what you want to do for this is you want to turn plot off and turn the line off. What that does is it just turns the, the, the momentum line off for you, um, and then you'll just be left with the background um, colour change and the SR lines. So that's how you do both. That's how you can set up uh, both in TradingView, whether you're already a Stonksy user to update the script, or if you're a new Stonksy user, how you set it up from scratch and get it looking on the chart like it does. So then that's um, obviously covered there. So the next thing we'll cover is obviously what is the SR lines made up of. So they're uh, made up of major SR lines and minor SR lines. So basically this, the major SR line is obviously a, a, a critical point uh, for support and resistance. Then the minor one is made up of historical levels and the most recent price action. And you can turn these off. So for instance, if you just wanted the major ones, obviously they can be left on. And then if you just wanted the minor ones, you can turn them off and then just have the minor ones. So then what leads me on to the next one is what, it, what is each one. So if I turn them all back on, as you can see, so the, the major ones are the thick the thick ones and then the, um, the ones that are slightly less, so you, as you can see, that's very transparent. You've got one here and then you've got one here, which um, are more, more dense and not as transparent as the others. They are um, the most recent price action, so most recent uh, resistance and most recent support. And then the transparent ones, they are um, historical levels. So that's what they're made up of. That's, um, that, that's what all the lines incorporate. So then if we move over back into the settings, obviously I've got both ticked on there. As you can see here, we've got them covered here. So this is um, the two major SR levels. The two ones, you can see that they're uh, very thick colour. Then if we move to the top, you've obviously got ones that aren't as light as these. So these two are the uh, most recent price action levels. And then the others, they are the historical ones, the, the more transparent ones. And you can see them in there. And you'll be able to fully customise these. So for instance, if I wanted to change um, that into blue, and I wanted to change that into red, for um, support and resistance, then you can do that there. So if I just do this and just do that, yeah. So as you can see, they've changed. And then you can do the same for the other ones as well. So if we change these back, so that was green. Um, and then, yeah, that was green as well. So then, yeah, what we'll do then is um, obviously the, the other two. So you could do them for the, uh, the most recent price action or you could do them for the uh, historical levels as well. So that's how everything works in terms of the lines and what each line means. And then that's how you can utilise it in, in trading view. So obviously you can use them alongside the background colour change or for instance, if you was maybe perhaps there was no, um, if we go to one maybe that might not have an indication on. So for instance, the five minute. You could then use them instead of uh, waiting for a background. So while you're waiting for an indication, perhaps, you could then just trade the price action easily with Stonks CSR. And that's how you utilise them. That's how that's how they can be changed um, in terms of major and minor, if you had a preference, or changing the colours of them. And that's, uh, that's setting up 
for new users and setting up for um, existing users as well. Now, there is um, an article on it. So if you go to the Stonksy website, stonksy.io, if you go on any of the pages, there's a, a couple of hyperlinks. Obviously, the M is for Medium, the Medium logo, which will take you over to our Medium. And then if you click on the Explainer Support and Resistance um, article, this will give you um, a written explanation of what's what. So then you can have a read through this, um, get further knowledge after this video. So do head over and check out that. It's well worth having a read through before you start over, just to get a better understanding. And then, yeah, that's it. So once you've got them added on, if we um, if we go back to a time frame that will have them on, such as the one minute, um, you can then obviously flick through, so such as ETH, and it will automatically load up onto them as well. So once you've got them loaded onto one pair, you'll automatically have them on any pair that you select within TradingView, whether it be crypto, stocks, gold, um, FX, whatever. Um, you'll have them all selected on there. And then, yeah, like I say, you can alter the settings if you want to, or you can leave them as they are. And it will also work on any time frame. So that's the one minute if we go to the one hour. As you can see, the one hour plots them as well. So they work on all the time frames. Um, any tradable asset that you can pull up on TradingView, it will work on the same as Stonksy does. So there's nothing new on that front in terms of usability. It fully covers all markets and works um, as long as you've got it on the chart. And another good thing to note is if you're logged in, say, on um, on your desktop and you've got you know the TradingView app on your phone or maybe your iPad, as long as you're logged in on the same TradingView account on, on all your devices, which I imagine you would be, this will then pull it up on all of them. So say you pull it up on your desktop at first and then alter it you know, to, to have the SR lines on here um, or, or update your script, then that will then do it onto your phone as well. So then you'll be able to pull up your phone and you'll be able to look at the same. So yeah, again, it's just about bringing more value to, to Stonksy users. Um, this has come at no extra cost. And yeah, it's just all about making the product that more refined, making it a better product. And yeah, it's just another phase in, in our development roadmap. And there's much more coming in the future as well. So while we're just on Stonksy, obviously, if you haven't seen yet, uh, we have partnered with Blowfin as the ex official exchange partner of Stonksy. Uh, so Blowfin are working closely with us now and we've got much more coming in terms of our relationship with Blowfin and Stonksy integrations into the Blowfin exchange into the coming uh, weeks and months. So do keep an eye out for that. Yeah, this is just the first, the first block in what's going to be a strong relationship between the two parties. And there's plenty of reasons why you should join Blowfin. Obviously, this is all listed on the website, stonksy.io. You can come and have a read for this yourself if you want to. But the key points are, obviously, it's non-KYC, so you don't have to give them your passport, you don't have to give them your driver's license upon signing up. And you can use a worldwide VPN, so you can put yourself anywhere and obtain access um, if you are finding it troublesome to do so. They do have a mobile app, so yeah, you can use it on desktop and mobile. And as soon as you sign up on the Stonksy link, which will be in this video description, you get instant access to VIP1, meaning that you save on fees when opening and closing trades. So that's a big perk. So do make sure after you watch this video, head in into, into the description, sign up on the Stonksy link and begin trading on Blowfin. I'll just give you a quick little demo, but there is um, a video being uploaded before this that will give you a full uh, tutorial on how to sign up to Blowfin, how to deposit funds and um, how to place a trade. That's all in one video for you if you do go back and check the previous video. So it's, it's as easy as that. Once you click the link, so the link in the video or if you go to the Stonksy website and click it here. You'll be taken to this. You put an email in. You choose a password. The referral code is already in there for you, so you don't have to do anything. You click the box and press sign up. And then the only other step is putting in a verification that sends you email. And then you're in. You're into your Blowfin account, and you can deposit funds straight away and begin trading. And that's it. As easy as that. There's no extra steps because it's non-KYC. There's no extra, you know, filling out questionnaires or having to give them, you know, a form of ID. There's none of that. You can go straight to uh, depositing and getting down to spot or futures trading. And if you didn't know, we offer various plans at Stonksy. The monthly plan is £145. This works out at £45 per day. And you can cancel any time you're not tied into a contract. We have the annual option, which obviously gets you 12-month access. We have the one that's tied into CSE Plus Premium. And we have the lifetime option, which means you get it for life, as you would expect. Um, and then, yes, the, you can pay for any of these plans in crypto if you click the hyperlinked email address button there. That'll take you to a pre-written email and then you just amend it for what plan you want and how you'd want to pay. So yeah, do come and join us at Stonksy if you're not. It'd be a pleasure to have you on. And you do get, obviously, access to the Discord server as well upon signing up. 
as well as the, the latest updates. So you would automatically get the uh, the SR lines on. But yeah, do make sure you sign up to, to Blowfin with Stonksy. It's the best exchange out there in terms of safety. You know, the assets um, are custodied in, custodied in fire blocks. So there's no risk of, you know, um, anything dodgy happening to them like we've seen in the past. Uh, the founder is doxxed, they don't trade against you, and they've got various other features on why it's a superb option to choose in terms of whether you're trading, whether you're holding spot, um, or whether you just want to keep some stable coins on there. So yeah, that's everything for this video. Um, do come and join us at Stonksy if you want to take advantage of this. This is only the uh, the next step in, in a long-term plan of making it the best indicator in the industry, and yeah, making it the uh, the gold standard of the of the crypto industry in terms of indicators so yeah that's everything for this video do drop a like and make sure you subscribe if you're not and i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you very much